Morbid obesity is when a person has gained enough weight that they're actually causing themselves harm because of the extra weight they're carrying around. There's different definitions of that. You can define it as 100 pounds above your ideal body weight, or you can define it as uh, a number based on body mass index. Body mass index is a uh, ratio of height to surface area, and it can be calculated. There's a lot of uh, internet sites that you just put your height and your weight in, and it'll tell you what it is. Uh, or you can come here, and I'll tell you what it is when you get here. Well, people that carry on a significant amount of extra weight are still consistently discriminated against, probably more so than any other single group. Uh, chairs, cars, uh, theater seats, all those things are not designed for people that are beyond a certain weight. Uh, even some of the airlines are trying to sell you two tickets uh, when you fly because you uh, take up more space than just the one seat. Uh, and so there are significant ways that being overweight impacts you on a daily basis. Uh, people also feel um, isolated. Uh, other people ignore them. They look at them as if there's issues just because they're overweight. So normalizing your weight does change your lifestyle and your social interactions tremendously. Carrying around all this extra weight is hard on everything, so you can actually name any organ system and I can tell you something bad that happens to you from carrying around 100 pounds or more extra weight above your ideal. The most common things are high blood pressure and diabetes. Diabetes is really a horrible illness. It causes all these issues as far as um, uh, heart attacks and strokes and clogs up arteries. Uh, so even though diabetes can be controlled and maybe take a pill or a shot, it's really causing all these terrible long-term effects. So it's, it's a horrible disease, much more so than people appreciate. In addition to that, it causes adult onset asthma, it wears all your joints out faster than they're designed, so you wind up having to have knee replacements, hip replacements, spinal fusions, it goes on and on with all the deals that uh, are related to uh, impact on joints. In addition, it can cause fatty liver, which can cause cirrhosis of the liver. Even though you're not an alcoholic, you can have cirrhosis and need a liver transplant, all just from carrying around extra weight. The comorbid conditions are all improved by uh, weight loss surgery. Oftentimes, I find uh, the diabetes it resolves itself almost as fast as the operation's over. So when you're in the hospital with diabetes, I watch your blood sugars after surgery, and quite often I'll send you home with no medications immediately after surgery, uh, just diet controlled and watching your blood sugars. The high blood pressure usually goes away to an equal amount. They both resolve 80% of the time, but blood pressure takes a little bit longer. It's more absolute weight loss, and so usually over about six months, the person that gave you the medications and raised the doses uh, each time or it's usually in charge of lowering the dose as your blood pressure normalize, uh, normalizes. Uh, about 80% of the people will be off high blood pressure medication about six months after the surgery. And about 50% of the people that are, have uh, sleep apnea will resolve that as well, so you can get rid of your CPAP mask. Everybody's joints feel better, and a lot of people get off all their arthritic medications just because they don't hurt quite so much. Those are the most common categories that see people improve on. Certainly there's other things. Uh, there are people that have weight-related adult-onset asthma, and a lot of times they're on inhalers and such as that, and those oftentimes go away. Again, as you lose weight over time, a lot of times that will resolve, but they don't have a number.